Hi, how are you going? My name's James. I'm one of the ChargeDS founders. Um, I'm just going to give you a brief demonstration today of how our Intercom integration works. Um, integration, our integration with Intercom allows you to see your Stripe, uh, Braintree, PayPal, and WePay customers all inside Intercom. Um, so you'll see here I've just navigated to the all user list and you can see that um, each of these users here, um, if you're familiar with the Intercom interface, now have this extra tag which wouldn't normally be there. Um, and so currently this is showing the last charge gank to these customers. Um, so for example I can see um, in this case it's been a $16 charge um, and I can click on it and it brings up a panel to the right and we'll see the, the charge amount and um, we can see that Lori's got a subscription, we can see the amount that's for. Um, and from this panel, we can then do things like uh, refund the charge, um, or we can potentially cancel subscription, or even create a new charge for Lori. Um, so this is a very quick, quick introduction to how ChargeDesk works inside Intercom. Um, even better than this, if you actually go into one of these user pages, so I go to Ali's page um, inside Intercom. So you've got all the normal information here, but uh, when you've got the ChargeDesk extension installed, you can also see the customer details on the right. Um, so for Ali, we're bringing up his subscriptions, his recent charges. Um, you can see that one of the charges is partially refunded. If we click through, um, we can see more information. We can see that it was a Visa card, um, how much refunded, some additional information. Um, if we go down to a failed uh, subscription, a uh, failed payment, we can even see information like reasons for failure, um, you know, uh, some additional information that you can use to help support the customers. Um, this is all quite valuable if you're working with your customers on a regular basis. Um, in, uh, we also have this feature here that allows you to then search for additional information. Um, so say we might be showing you um, the information for Ali, but you want to look up Richard's information. Um, you can do a quick search. You can search by name, email address, or any basically any kind of information against get for the customer, um, and we'll bring up their details here. And again, a similar sort of situation. You can refund charges um, and view additional information on um, on what went wrong with failed charges. Um, we'll go back to the customer. Just one other important point to note. Um, you can also see things like billing address and shipping address. Um, so this is quite useful if you're managing your customers inside um, Intercom, particularly if you're running sort of like an e-commerce store. You might want to um, bring up information here um, about their shipping details. And this will allow you to then sort of manage those customers much faster than having to use multiple systems. Uh, if we go across to um, the Conversations tab, if you have this enabled inside Intercom, we also have an integration here as well. Um, so in this case, we're bringing up the information about, um, I'm just going to reload this page quickly. Um, we'll bring up the information about um, Gavin at Hooli. Um, so we can see we've got a conversation here from him. Um, he sent us a question, um, why, did, uh, why did we charge him $1,000? and um, we immediately have his billing information up here on the right. So we can see that yes, there was a $1,000 charge um, for a 10 file compression pack. Um, and we can go to go do other things here and create sort of additional charges. So say if we wanted to create um, another charge uh, for $1,000, um, if we're being a bit crazy, we can go ahead and do this. Um, and we can create that charge and it'll go through. And this will immediately go through and actually charge the card. So this has come up right now um, in our system. Um, and we can do other things like process a refund as well. So if we want to go through and refund this charge, all this is happening in real time within the payment gateway. So this is really going off, performing these charges and, and performing the refunds on, on the cards. Um, obviously in this case, I'm using uh, a test account, so this isn't happening live, but uh, but it, it could be. <laughs> um, just a few other things to note. So if we go back to the people page, um, so with these tags here, the, these are configurable, so you can set the kind of information you want to display here. Um, if I open up panel, uh, the charge desk panel on the right by clicking this button, um, you can see the information about all the customers that are visible on this page. Um, and if we go across to settings, we can actually configure these tags. Um, so in this case, we're showing, uh, sorry, the total amount received. Um, if I wanted to change it to the last amount received, I can go ahead and save it. And that will update here. You might have noticed updated in real time. I can also change it to last payment time. Again, so we can see when their last payment date was. Um, and we can even do interesting stuff like uh, change the, um, the color. So say if our color was green, for example, and we want a slightly large transparency, you can see the color changing here. I'm just going back to total amount received. 
can save that and get on updates. Um, so all this kind of information is configurable. Um, if you don't want to use these particular integrations, say you only want to use the user pages or in the inbox, you can toggle these on and off here under the integration settings as well. And that's it, that's a quick overview of the core features of our intercom integration. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to shoot us an email at contact at uh, chargedesk.com um, and we'll be happy to help. Uh, we're always improving this integration as well, so we'll, we'll be rolling out some more features shortly, including the ability to uh, send invoices to customers so you won't necessarily have to have a, a card on a file for them. You'll be able to request them to enter their payment details. Um, and yeah, that, that's just a quick overview of our intercom integration. Thanks for watching.